Sister Wives, Janelle Brown's harsh criticism of Cody and Robin Brown's parenting explained. Hello dear beautiful and wonderful viewers, welcome to Sister Wives Drama YouTube channel, and I am Rumana. I hope your day is so well. I will explain everything, never miss this video, and welcome to our new video. Before going to the main topic, I would like to say like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Sister Wives season 19 recently premiered, and Janelle Brown boldly criticized Robin Brown for her parenting, even implying that it led to the family's dissolution. Over the years, the Sister Wives have always avoided talking about each other as parents, but the gloves have come off and nothing is off the table. Janelle was polygamist patriarch Cody Brown's second wife. They were married for 29 years and had six children together, until Janelle walked away from her marriage to Cody in 2022. Janelle wasn't the first wife to leave Cody, nor would she be the last. The first wife to end their marriage was Christine Brown, and Mary Brown was the last wife to leave. The highly anticipated start of Sister Wives season 19 found Cody in an unexpectedly monogamous relationship with his fourth wife, Robin Brown. At his peak, Cody had four wives and 18 children, and each wife had her own parenting style. Janelle recently threw some shade at fourth wife Robin's parenting style. When Robin married Cody in 2010, she had three children from her first marriage who were all under 10 years old. In 2014, Cody legally divorced Mary, his first wife, so he could legally marry Robin and adopt her children. Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna eventually changed their last names from Jessup to Brown. Though Robin's children were embraced by their new family to some extent, they didn't have the same experience in the Brown family as their other siblings. Sister Wives Season 19 stars Cody and Robin would go on to have two children of their own, Solomon and Ariella Brown. As the youngest in the family, Solomon and Ariella barely remember a time when their family was together. By the time they were born, many of Cody's children with his other wives had grown up and moved out of the house. Many Brown children are even married with their own children during an early Sister Wives season 19 episode, Janelle gave an on-camera interview in which she criticized the way Cody and Robin raised their youngest children. The sequence opens with Cody explaining that back when the Sister Wives patriarch still had four wives, Ariella would freak out whenever he went to be with one of his other wives. She would exhibit enormous separation anxiety, grabbing his leg and screaming, making him feel guilty about leaving. Janelle blamed Cody and Robin for not properly preparing their children for life as the children of a polygamist. By the time the family stopped growing, Cody had four wives and 18 children, but by the time Sister Wives season 19 premiered, three of his four wives had walked away from their polygamous marriages over the course of the last few years. Michaelty's mother, Christine, was the first of Cody's wives to walk away opening Pandora's box in 2021. Christine has since remarried, and Michaelty has her own family now, but she continues to maintain a strong relationship with her father and Robin. Many of Cody's other children were less than welcoming to Robin, but Michaelty bonded with Cody's fourth wife and even lived with Cody and Robin for a while. Michaelty sat for an interview during an early episode of Sister Wives Season 19, in which she talked about being a teenager when Robin joined the family, Robin made her feel special and valued at a time when she needed to be seen. All three of Cody's former wives have said that they want their children to have good relationships with their father, and Michaelty cares about Robin too. When it came time for Michaelty to give birth to her twins, she wanted both her mother and Robin to be there. Despite the fact that the women hadn't spoken since Christine ended her marriage to Cody, the former sister wives respected Michaelty's decision, but they didn't speak to each other while at the hospital. Michaelty went in for her C section, and she and her husband, Tummy Padron, had two healthy babies, Archer and Ace Padron. 
When the babies went home, Christine and Robin took turns staying with the family to help with night feedings. Michael T is one of the few members of the Brown family who isn't in a fight with any other member of the clan, so she's in a unique position to bring people together. The mother of three seems intent on being a peacemaker who wants to reunite her family, but so far, she hasn't had much luck. There was some hope that the birthing event would at least get Christine and Robin back on speaking terms, but the sister wives season 19 stars haven't learned a thing. He should have gotten a massive smack in the face for that. Cody Brown has done some awful things on Sister Wives. But this one is unforgivable fans of TLC's Sister Wives are furious with Kobe Brown after he disregarded his daughter's surgery and instead chose to attend a wedding during the pandemic. The famed television star is blamed for many things, including his three divorces from his past wives. But viewers believe this case was his greatest crime Brown is the patriarch of the openly polygamist family previously based in Utah. But not long after the man of the house has separated ways with his former partners, he's now sharing a monogamous marriage with Robin Brown mistakes Cody Brown has made in Sister Wives. One of his most highlighted faults was when he chose to attend a friend's wedding during the pandemic while letting his 17-year-old daughter undergo surgery. Alani Sybil Brown suffered from scoliosis for a long time, but since she didn't have insurance, she put off her surgery many times. She must also travel from Arizona to New Jersey for scoliosis treatment, but her father wouldn't accompany her apparently. He didn't want her to undergo an operation because it was still the pandemic, and he also forbade anyone to go with her. Isabel's mother, Christina, insisted that she needed it immediately because the pain had become intolerable. Fans slammed Brown for his insensitive and uncaring approach to his daughter's condition. Check out their comments below. Christine revealed that her daughter was mad at her father for choosing to attend a wedding instead of putting her health first. Brown reasoned that the treatment would require six to eight weeks of confinement in the hospital, and he could not be away from work for that long. On the other hand, he was away for four days when he attended his friends event netizens were also furious at how Brown chose to accompany his other daughter, Aurora, when she had to get ear piercings but not when Isabel needed spine surgery. She ended up traveling to New Jersey with her mother and other relatives. TLC. This season is shaping up to be an emotional roller coaster, especially as the Brown family navigates the complexities of their relationships during the Thanksgiving holiday. In this episode, the family finds themselves apart for the holiday, highlighting the challenges they face in maintaining their bonds. Despite their differences, Christine and Robin come together to support Michael T and her newborns, showing that even amid tension, family ties can be strong. Robin's push for Kobe to reconcile with his children adds another layer of drama. As viewers witness the struggle for connection and understanding within the family additionally, Christine takes a brave step forward by revealing that she has gone on a promising first date. This development could signify a new chapter in her life, offering a glimpse into her journey of healing and self-discovery. Fans can expect heartfelt moments and tension-filled interactions as the Browns navigate their unique family dynamics this Thanksgiving. Sister Wives Cody's sarcasm didn't fly with new daughter-in-law. Sister Wives followers blame Cody Brown's sarcastic remarks for prompting his new daughter-in-law to supply uncommon put-up on the TLC sequence after Sunday's episode. Cody talked in regards to the occasion that introduced the household collectively on their TLC sequence for the primary time since his three wives left him. All of them attended a marriage, however, all through the episode, they solely known as it the marriage. Nobody talked about the bride and groom by identify on the present. However, followers knew they have been Logan Brown and Michelle Petty. Now the bride confirms this. However, she additionally shares how her new in-laws disenchanted her on their present Cody Brown, Mary Brown, Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Robin Brown attended the marriage of Logan Brown and Michelle Petty. Whereas they talked about it for about two minutes on Sunday night times present, they by no means talked about the bride and groom's names followers discovered, whose wedding ceremony they referred to on Sister Wives. 
However, in addition, they puzzled why the couple remained ghosts when the household talked about it. They supplied a disclaimer on the present that the bride and groom wouldn't enable the sister wives' cameras in. This additionally obtained the viewers questioning why Logan and Michelle opted to remain off the sequence. Michelle Petty posted a proof about why their names omitted of the Sister Wives episode Final Sunday, whereas they advised Kobe Brown's household that they most well liked the marriage not talked about on the present in any respect. The present talked about a marriage as an alternative. Cody, his spouse, and his ex-wives talked in regards to the occasion as if it had been generic, utilizing no names nonetheless. Michelle felt it was awkward they by no means talked about her or Logan Brown because the bride and groom. She additionally stated, At no level have we advised them to by no means point out our names or Fox we don't exist. She added, Simply making an attempt to maintain our lives off TV as a lot as we are able to. Followers hopped online to ask her why they didn't seem within the sequence. Some viewers inspired them to point out up on the display. However, Cody's daughter-in-law defined their life is regular and just about mundane. So, filming them wouldn't be attention-grabbing for anybody to look at. However, that's not all she stated. She critiqued Sunday's present and shared her disappointment. Whereas the bride and groom remained nameless throughout Sunday's episode, the way in which Kobe Brown and the opposite adults talked in regards to the wedding ceremony rubbed Michelle the improper method. Michelle wrote, Seeing an extended rationalization that the wedding was unhappy and awkward was not enjoyable to come back throughout on my TikTok FIP lol. The TLC put up of the couple under was again from once they first turned engaged, whereas she by no means talked about Cody or any of the sister wives girls. Followers knew who she was speaking about. She assured the followers they did their finest to make everybody snug on their special occasion. However, that introduced Cody's spiel to thoughts for the followers. On Sunday's episode, Cody appeared into the digicum and stated that he and Robin have been put within the nook. Subsequent, the sister wife's father of the groom laughed and stated it was most likely for his or her security, as he felt anger from some relations. So, it appears to be like like Cody Brown and all the ladies he married discovered the occasion awkward within the aftermath of the cut-up. However, his daughter-in-law was not impressed that the household let their awkwardness be identified for a very good 20-minute section on Sister Wives. Followers jumped in and prompt that since they went towards Logan and Michelle's request, they need to have executed higher. Viewers thought they need to have at the least talked about their names and reduce out all of the chatter about feeling awkward through the couple's special occasion. It appears like Cody Brown's daughter-in-law had that very same practice of thought in regards to the TLC sequence. Sister Wives fans side-eye Cody Brown after Garrison statement Cody Brown and Janelle lost their son Garrison Brown in early March this year and now they are opening up about their loss. TLC fans heard what the Sister Wives patriarch had to say, and they gave him the side-eye rather than a hot roasting. The reason they did that is because it must be awful to have to bury a child this week. The Sister Wives Patriarch opened up to people about the loss of Garrison Brown. In part, the TLC star said, The hard part is giving away that future that I saw for him. The excitement. It's strange having your child pass. The wave of grief is different than any wave of grief I have ever had. It's irreconcilable. The future that we missed with him. We could have been talking more. I get texts, and we could have done so much more. It was kind of like cold have done so much more. It was kind of like, we've got forever, but retrospectively, there would have been more catching up. It was more like it was a convenience of time that I felt like I had Cody Brown, also talked about how his son loved adventure. And he then annoyed TLC fans by talking about wanting to go and have a beer with Garrison. Recall, that alcohol was thought to be a contributing factor in Gary and Brown's death. The Sister Wives star also said, I want him to try and make me laugh because he was kind of that way. Then he noted that his only regret is the lack of timey and Reddit. Not many people felt sorry for the man who was estranged from his son. However, 
Not many of them got down and roasted him because death is a terrible shock. One member of the community wrote saying he wishes he took him out for a beer, was cringy considering what Janelle said about the substance issues. I will cut him a bit of slack because he is deep in grief, but I am giving him side eye. That doesn't mean to say that no Sister Wives fans roasted Kobe Brown, but much of it was expressed as puzzlement over what he had said. Here are some of those observations. He is talking about him like he's an old friend from high school where they naturally grew apart and went their separate ways which would be. Tragic accident. His son was so troubled that he saw no other way out. It's tragic that Cody treated his children so badly. It's tragic that Cody doesn't seem to realize that his behavior and treatment of the OG wives and their children may have been the straw that broke his son. He doesn't have the self-awareness to realize that he is the problem. What are your thoughts on what Cody Brown said about Garrison Brown? Do you agree that critics could have easily roasted him much harder than they did? Sound off in the comments below. And remember to come back here often for all your Sister Wives news, updates, and spoilers. Sister Wives My Kelty Brown Chops Off Long Hair See drastic new look Sister Wives star My Kelty Brown Padron is well known for her stunning long hair. So what exactly would she look like if she cut it short? After wearing her hair long for years, My Kelty decided it was time for a bit of a change. Check out her latest Instagram post to see what her new style looks like. For most of my Kelty Brown's adult life, fans have known her to have beautiful long hair. Although she often keeps it down and flowing freely, she also occasionally braids it while on outings with her children but everyone needs a nice change once in a while. The TLC star decided it was time to let her hair down and make a much-needed change. Just ignore the end there. Finally took some personal time and got it chopped, the mother of three shared on Instagram. In the video, my Kelty documents her dramatic transformation. When she walked into the hair salon, her thick long hair stretched down to her rear end. After the cut, it hangs just past her shoulders. Compared to many others, it's still considered longer hair, but going from waist length to shoulder length makes quite a difference. Wow, looks great. Janelle Brown commented. My Kelty's other Instagram users wrote, You stole your mother's entire face. Beautiful. Wow. Looks fantastic. Were you able to donate? Love it. It's crazy. Your face is a perfect hybrid of your mom and dad. Such a beauty. Looks so good and must feel great. Long hair with little kids is a challenge my Kelty Brown patron may love being a mom but she certainly has her hands full. Her oldest child is three, followed by twin sons who will be two in November during this season of Sister Wives. My Kelty admitted she absolutely hated being pregnant and hopefully would never experience it again after delivering the twins. She said that she and Tony might like to have more children eventually, but they would adopt. No matter what the patterns decide, my Kelty will likely have a much easier time keeping up with her kids with shorter hair. What do you think about My Kelty Brown's new haircut? Be sure to share your own thoughts in the comments. Keep following Keep Following TV Show's Ace Online for the latest Sister Wives news and updates. New episodes of Sister Wives Season 19 air each Sunday night. Sister Wives What Fueled Rift Between Cody Brown and Mad E Sister Wives Fans know that Cody Brown is estranged from many of his children, including Maddie Brush. In earlier seasons, Maddie and her father seemed incredibly close. He played a very active role in her wedding and bonded with her husband, Caleb Brush. Caleb and Maddie also gave Cody and Janelle their first grandchildren. But over time, the father-slash-daughter relationship seems to have broken down and crumbled apart. What exactly fueled this rift in the first place on screen? Janelle Brown says most of her children really resent their dad and harbor difficult feelings toward him. Garrison and Gabriel's feud with their father was explored on screen, but Janelle's daughter Maddie also feels estranged from her father now. 
Many Sister Wives fans also believe that Maddie's relationship with Cody worsened after Garrison's death recently. Maddie Brush shared on Instagram that she's expecting another baby. While it's delightful news, many Sister Wives fans can't help but wonder if Cody Brown will be involved in her children's lives at all. Right now, the Brush family's children are 7, 5, and 1. Maddie and her father haven't had regular contact in quite some time, especially because of the physical distance between them. It's possible Maddie's oldest child, Axel, remembers his grandfather. But otherwise, her children likely haven't had any interaction with him at all. It's too soon to say what might happen with Cody and Maddie's future together. But after all this time, many fans aren't hopeful they'll mend fences anytime soon. What do you think about the ongoing rift between Maddie and Cody Brown? Will things improve once the fourth baby arrives? Add your voice to the conversation and share your thoughts in the comments. Sister Wives Spoilers Why did Robin Brown keep food from Janelle Brown's kids? Sister Wives Spoilers reveal that Janelle Brown has come out against Robin Brown lately. According to Janelle, Robin wouldn't let Janelle's kids eat her food. Janelle has six children with Cody Brown, and when viewers heard this, they were shocked. Let's find out more about why Janelle is making these claims. During the latest episode of Sister Wives, Janelle brought up some of the past rules at Robin's house when they lived in Utah. They had a large home together where all of the children lived. Robin joined the family last, but her home was not close to the other wives, and this caused some problems with the Browns. When the family moved to Las Vegas, Robin continued to separate herself, and this began with Janelle. Janelle told the cameras, My children, like we scolded if they would open up Robin's fridge. Mary Brown pointed out that this was something that would always happen when a new wife came into the family. Of course, viewers didn't believe that this was always true. Sister Wives Spoilers Viewers react to the rumors. As soon as viewers watched the latest episode of Sister Wives, they were quick to start in on Robin's selfish behavior. This isn't the first time that they have seen this, though. Reddit was busy after the episode aired, and these fans joked that they could see a huge sign on Robin's fridge warning anyone not to open it. Robin has made comments before about how Logan Brown often ate her leftovers, and this has fans curious as to why she acted this way toward the other Brown children. Others pointed out that by not sharing her food with the other Brown children, she was saving money for her vacations. Most fans feel that Robin has always just been all about herself and her marriage to Cody. It does seem as if viewers feel as if Robin has always felt as if she was the only one in the marriage, and it shows. As viewers watch this season, they are convinced that more of Robin's dark side will come out. We will all just have to wait and see. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with Sister Wives right now. Come back here often for Sister Wives spoilers, news, and updates. No more today. What are you thinking about this gossip today? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel to get more updates like this. Thank you.